Hello and welcome uh, to this uh, instructional video. Uh, I just got through downloading uh, a program, which is a fantastic program, by the way. It, it really is. Uh, uh, sometimes it does have a problem, though, and this is one of the instances where we have a problem. Uh, it's Camtasia Studio 8, and when I started the program up after installing it, I get this runtime error that you see right here. Okay. Uh, how do we fix this? Well, let me close this guy off here. Oops, let me move him out of the way. There we go. First step, if you look at the uh, documentation that they have on it, so the first place to look is actually at uh, TechSmith, their support, where you can get answers to questions. So I was searching for a runtime error. And what happens is, let me move this over just a little bit, In the runtime error, there are three potentials for solutions. This one was updated, and it deals with Snagit. However, you're going to learn a little bit that it also works with the uh, uh, suite uh, number eight. So one of the one of the things they suggest doing, and you can look at it over here, Camtasia or Studio. This stuff here is the alleged solution and I say alleged because <laughs> it doesn't work but I'm going to show it to you anyway uh, you're supposed to take and go through you hit your window key and then you go over here and start searching uh, type in an RU right away not just an R and then you want to run you click on it and alright come on here it is alright there we are it's hiding over there now I put my downloads in one specific drive and so you find where you put it on your on your own drive and uh, then you you run the program and you put it in what's called passive mode uh, it'll work in the background and you won't see all the all the fancy dancy graphics and so forth that uh, it happened during a regular install uh, which is fine uh, that's that's quite right I'll care about those things anyway. I just care to get the software up and running. However, there is one caveat to this. What they don't tell you in here is that you should uh, uninstall, <laughs> and this is a very important part, they don't tell you that you should uninstall the, the software. So what you do is you open up control panel and that's just by this is by the way is Vista this is where the problems are happening uh, you open up your control panel and that gives you this screen right here and then from here you go to programs uh, programs and features you double click on that and then it'll show you all the uh, programs you have installed when you click on it what you'll want to do is uninstall it uh, don't worry you downloaded it already so it's not a big deal uh, you uninstall the whole the system uh, that's just to clear away any any uh, potential problems that might be in memory and or uh, <laughs> you know you know how Windows is it might uh, might cause problems so just reboot the system let it start from scratch and then you do the RU okay uh, well run it's going to search for a program called run and lo and behold then you install right from here and make sure you put the slash passive once you're done with that all right, let me close this window off. Once you're done with that, they tell you to register over here on a 64-bit or if you have a 32-bit Windows. Uh, I'm running on a 32-bit, so I right-click and copy. And then from there, what you do, and I, I like to take and just do things from the command prompt, which is not a problem. Right, here we go. Go to accessories, and then you can see your command prompt. And then once you once you have your command prompt, you just do a paste, and it'll go and run the program for you. Now at that point, you think that you're done. However, when you're going to start it up again, you get this error. <laughs> famous error here huh well 
the way around that now, and let me show you the next screen you're going to take and do. <coughs> Excuse me. The next screen is a product a redistribution package, and this is for the runtime version, which you're going to be using. Hey, there's the address I just showed it. Now, you got to be careful because there are uh, a couple different redistributables. The one you want is this one right here. It's with service pack uh, one. You click on the new version, and then it's going to ask you, uh, one second here, it's going to ask you to download. Uh, let me fix this up a little bit. Okay, so here's your system requirements, download instructions, and so forth, which you can uh, very easily get. This is the file you want right over here. And there is a download. You can download it right here. Notice its size. Its size is 4 megs. They do have another one uh, from Microsoft's website. And I made the mistake of <laughs> not dealing with the latest one but with the first one, and the size of that one is 1.7 megs. So you see there's a difference here. So you do want to take in and get this one here, the Service Pack 1. Now, let me close that guy off. Then you install it, and what will happen is you, you want to take in reboot your system again. And that's kind of crucial. You have to reboot so that... Uh, Microsoft Windows takes and does its thing the way it's supposed to and reloads the registry and, whole, and it's all that good stuff. So once you're done with that, then lo and behold, you now have a working version and it really does work and you will no longer get this message. Okay, well, I hope this uh, is helpful for you. I know that I, I had a problem with it. Uh, some of the key key issues in here is within their own website, uh, within TechSmith's website, they forgot to tell you to uninstall, and they might claim that it doesn't, you know, you don't have to or something like that because it's just going to overwrite. Don't believe it. I, I, uh, I did that, and it doesn't work. The, the one that you, uh, the answer that you really want to have this one here is the one that really has the answer, and that was just updated. Uh, by the way, today is June 22nd. Uh, I bought it yesterday. I bought the software, upgraded the software yesterday. Couldn't get it to run, so I decided to start, start from scratch today. <laughs> there we go. Uh, let me show you the, uh, the link. Here's the, here's the page that you want to go to. So you might want to copy that down. The answer for Vista users that are having problems with this is right here. All right. Well, I hope this uh, video helped you, and, and uh, it's going to you know, get you get you up and running. You will no longer uh, get this error message here. That's going to go away. And this, by the way, is is uh, actually actually created with uh, the new version. Uh, version 8 of Camtasia Studio. Okay, have a great day now, and catch you on the next video.